Hello, my name is Mrs. Travis Keen. I'm a museum educator at the Baltimore Museum of Industry, where every Tuesday we have a program called We Workers. This week we're going to talk about tools, and if you have an opportunity to come to our museum when things come back to normal, you'll have to come and see our vast array of tools that people have been using over the decades. Today, though, we're going to talk about kitchen tools, and I have a little friend, Chicken Teague, who's going to help me talk about kitchen tools. Right, Chicken Tea? And we also know, right, I think you reminded me, didn't you, Chicken Tea, that this is the time of year when, yes, yeah, I know, strawberries. Strawberries are a popular topic because strawberries are ripening in the fields, right? Indeed. Well, <laughs> you always have a joke or two, right? So, <laughs> okay, he has a joke he wants to share with us. The first joke is, tell me one more time, okay, what did the strawberry tart say to the pecan pie? Now that's a good one, I don't know. What did the strawberry tart say to the pecan pie? Chicken tea. Oh, you're just nuts, you're just nuts. Oh, that's funny. Okay, what's your other strawberry joke? Okay, what did one strawberry say to the other strawberry? I don't know, I can't even guess. What did one strawberry say to the other strawberry? Ah! If you weren't so sweet, we wouldn't be in this jam. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Chickadee, where do you get these? These are too funny, too funny. Well, it's interesting. Again, we're gonna read a little story today about some strawberries and we're gonna, I think you're gonna like it. We're gonna talk about kitchen tools. And I think when you read the story, when you hear the story, think about some of the tools they're using in their kitchen to make some of these wonderful things. You like to say hi to the kids, do you? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm going to ask you to sit over here, Chicken Teak, so I can read the story. I think you're going to love it indeed. The title of this story is Cook a Doodle Do. Cook a Doodle Do. Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crummel are the author and illustrators of this book. Cook a Doodle Do. I think it's, you're going to really love this. Peck, peck, peck. Always chicken feed. Ah, day after day, year after year, I'm sick of it. Squawk, big brown rooster. Can we get something new to eat around here, please? Nobody's listening. Ah, what's a hungry rooster to do? He looks upset, doesn't he, chicken tea? Ah, for heaven's sake. There's no hope. Wait a minute. Rooster remembered a story his mama used to tell a story handed down from chicken to chicken the story of his famous great grandmother the little red hen huh, he's thinking about his grandmother rooster rushed into the chicken coop it has to be here he said he looked high and low and there it was at last hidden under a nest her cookbook the joy of cooking alone by l r hen rooster carefully turned the pages ha huh, so many recipes I thought she just baked bread. Look at that strawberry shortcake, he says. Look at this, he's looking at the cookbook. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'll make the most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world. No more chicken feed for me, he says. Yes, sirree, just like great granny. I'll be a cook. Cook-a-doodle-doo, crowed Rooster, as he pranced toward the big farmhouse. He's got a plan, doesn't he? He has a plan. Ah, Cook-a-doodle-doo, said Dog. Ha, have you lost your marbles, Rooster, asked Cat. You've never cooked anything before, said Goose. That doesn't matter, replied Rooster. Cooking is in my blood. It's a family tradition. Now who will help me? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the goose. And away they went. His friends aren't gonna help the rooster, for heaven's sakes. Rooster pushed open the kitchen door. It looks like I'm on my own, just like great granny. He sighed and put on his apron. We'll help. Rooster turned and there stood Turtle, Iguana, and Potbelly Pig. Ha! Huh, do you three know anything about cooking? Rooster asked. I can read recipes, said Turtle. 
I can get stuff, said Iguana. I can taste, said Pig. I'm an expert at tasting. So he has some characters that are going to help him. A pig, a turtle, and a iguana. How about that? Then we're a team, declared Rooster. Ah, let's get ready and, ready and start cooking. Turtle read the cookbook. Heat oven to 450 degrees. I can do that, said Iguana. Look, I'll turn the knob. 150, 250, 350, 50. Hey, cooking is easy. Look at he's turning the knob on the oven, right? Rooster put a big bowl on the table. What's our first ingredient, he asked. The recipe says we need flour, said Turtle. I can do that, said Iguana. He dashed outside, picked a petunia. How's this flower? What? A petunia? I don't think that's what they mean, do you? I don't think that's what they mean. No, 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 said Rooster. Not that kind of flower. We need flour for cooking. You know, the fluffy white stuff that made from wheat. Can I taste the flour, asked Pig. No, <laughs> not yet, Pig, said Turtle. The recipe says to sift it first. What does sift mean? Asked Iguana. Hmm, said Turtle. I think it sift means to search through. You mean like when I sift through the garbage looking for my lunch, asked Pig. I can do that, said Iguana. And he dived into the flower, throwing it everywhere. Look at him, he's throwing the flower all over kingdom come. Oh no, 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 said Rooster. Ah, don't sift the flour like that. Put it through this sifter. Rooster turned the crank and sifted the flour into a big pile. Can I taste the pile, asked Pig. <laughs> Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we measure the flour. I can do that, said Iguana. Huh, he grabbed a ruler. The flour is four inches tall. Mm, I don't think they mean that. I don't no, 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 said Rooster. You don't want to know how tall it is. We want to know how much there is. You measure the flour with this metal measuring cups. We need two cups, added Turtle. So fill it twice. Rooster dumped the two cups of flour into the bowl. Can I taste it now, asked Pig. <laughs> no, not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Next, we add two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of baking powder and one half teaspoon of salt. I can do that, said Iguana. He looked under the table, but where are the tablespoons? He looked in the teapot. No teaspoons here. They're looking under the table. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Can you believe this? Oh, my goodness. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't look at the, under the teapot. Don't look under the table. These spoons are for measuring. Each holds a certain amount. Rooster measured the sugar, the baking powder, the salt, poured them into the big bowl, then sifted all the dry ingredients together. Looks awfully wide in there, said Pig. I, I better taste it. <laughs> Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we add butter. We need one stick. I can do that, cried Iguana. He raced outside, broke off a branch. How's this stick? Oh, for heaven's sakes, look at this. He broke off a stick to use in the kitchen? For heaven's sakes, what is he thinking? No, 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 said Rooster. Uh, not that kind of stick, a stick of butter. Rooster unwrapped the butter and dropped it into the bowl. That butter's just sitting there like a log, said Pig. Maybe I need to taste it. <laughs> Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Next, we cut in the butter. I can do that, said Iguana. Uh-oh, scissors don't cut butter very well. What? He's trying to use a scissors. Look at him. He's trying to use a scissors to cut the butter? No. No, 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 said Rooster. Don't cut the butter with scissors. Use these two table knives, like this. Rooster cut in the butter until the mixture was crumbly. Looks mighty dry in there, said Pig. Perhaps I should taste it. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now the recipe says to beat one egg. 
I can do that, it cried, cried Iguana. Look at, oh my God, he's going to beat the egg with a baseball bat. Look at him. For heaven's sakes. No, 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 said Rooster. Ah, don't beat the egg with a baseball bat. We use an egg beater. Rooster carefully broke the egg into the dish, beat it with the egg beater and pounded, excuse me, and poured it into the big bowl. That looks tasty, says Pig. Please let me taste it. Not yet, Pig said. <laughs> excuse me, not yet, said Turtle. Now add milk. We need two thirds of a cup. I can do that, said Iguana. Here, hold the glass measuring cup. I'll saw off a third. We'll use the other two thirds to measure the milk. Wait, said Pig. Why don't we fill the measuring cup to the top and I'll drink down a third? Oh, for heaven's sakes, can you believe what they're doing? Can you believe what they're doing? Oh my gosh. Here they are trying to use the egg beater. The egg beater is a tool you would use in the kitchen. No, 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 said Rooster. Uh, the cup has marks on it. One third, two third, one cup. We'll fill it to the two third mark. Rooster poured the milk into the bowl. It surely needs tasting now, said Pig. <clears throat> Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. Now we mix the dough and put it in a greased baking pan. Rooster stirred and spread as Turtle read. Bake in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. I can do that, cried Iguana. There they are. They're getting ready. They're putting it in the baking pan, putting it into the baking pan to go into the oven. Iguana shoved the pan into the oven. Let's see, 15 minutes equals 900 seconds. I'll count them. One, two, three, four. No, 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 said Rooster. He set the timer so that the Iguana would stop counting the seconds. Pig burned his tongue on the oven door, trying to taste the shortcake. Turtle studied the cookbook to see what to do next. Let's cut up the strawberries and whip the cream, said Turtle. And they cut and cut and whipped and whipped until, until they suddenly heard ding, which means the oven timer is off. Look at how they're working. They're getting all the strawberries together. There they put the pan in the oven. Rooster grabbed the oven mitt off Iguana's head and took the shortcake carefully out of the oven. Oh, it's beautiful and it smells so good, said Pig. I know I have to taste it now. Not yet, Pig, said Turtle. We have to let it cool. Soon the shortcake was ready to cut. Rooster sliced it in half. They stacked one layer of cake, one layer of whipped cream, one layer of the strawberries. Then again, cake, cream, and berries. See how they're getting it prepared? They have one layer of cake, then cream, then strawberries. Oh my gosh, this is making my mouth water, right, Chickadee? <clears throat> it looked just like the picture of the strawberry shortcake in the cookbook. <gasps> this is the most beautiful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world, said Rooster. If great granny could see me now, <gasps> Let's take it to the table. I can do that, cried Iguana. So here they are, here's Iguana. Everybody's ready, they wanna take it to the table. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Wow. He yanked at the plate. <gasps> the shortcake tilted and slid splat right on the floor. Oh no. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <gasps> Pig was ready. Now it's my turn to taste it. In a split second, the strawberry shortcake was gone. Every last crumb had disappeared into the pot belly of the pig. Our shortcake, cried Iguana. You ate it. I thought it was my turn, replied Pig. I'm the taster, remember? And it tasted great. But it was our masterpiece, moaned Turtle. And a tasty one too, said Pig. Now we can make something else. Yeah, Iguana glared. How about a plump, ro juicy roast pig? Pig gasped. Oh, roast pig? How about an Iguana pot pie or, 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 or turtle soup? 
Ooh, this isn't going well. This isn't going well. No, 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 said Rooster. Uh, listen to me. We made this shortcake as a team and teams worked together. But Pig ate it, whined Turtle. Iguana dropped it, pouted Pig. Turtle should have caught it, grumbled Iguana. It doesn't matter, said Rooster. The first shortcake was just for practice. It won't be as hard to make the second one. So the first one was just for practice, he said. Well, added Turtle, we don't have to worry about messing up the kitchen. It's already a mess. So who will help me make it again? Asked Rooster. Pig, Turtle, and Iguana looked at each other. I will, said Pig. I will, said Turtle. I will, said Iguana. Cook-a-doodle-doo, crowed Rooster. Let's get cooking. Oh, they all agreed to work together again, right, Chicken Tea? Together, they made the second most wonderful, magnificent strawberry shortcake in the whole wide world. <gasps> and it was a lot easier than the first time. Look at this. Oh my gosh, isn't it beautiful? And they shared it with the, with the dog and the cat and the duck. Oh my gosh, beautiful strawberry shortcake. Isn't that wonderful, Chicken Tea? And if you go to our website, uh, where it says a visit from home, there are coloring pages. And there also is the recipe to make your own strawberry shortcake. There are other couple things that you can do. Remember we talked about tools and things that you can use in the kitchen. Cooking tools, kitchen tools. These of course are uh, measuring cups. And these are measuring spoons that remember in the story they used to measure the baking powder and the salt. Well in your kitchen I bet you have spoons. And what you can do with spoons is you can make up a game. And all you have to do is have some tape and put some tape on the spoon and a letter. You can put your, your alphabet, A, B, C. And what you do is after you've done a number of these, you lay them down like this with the, on their, on their, so that their back is up and the, the letter is not showing. And you can play a matching game and turn them over and see if you can match those spoons. I, to pick up one, up, oh, this is an A. This is an A, let's see if I can find another A. Ah, I did, so those two match. I can put those two together. But if I did picked up this one, B, without looking, let's see if I can match another B. Ah, here's another B. So you can play a matching game just using spoons, your ordinary tablespoons or spoons that you have in your kitchen. And also, I have another craft you can do, and it is to make a strawberry. And I used some paper, I colored a piece of white paper, red. I would color both sides red, and I cut out a free-form heart, and cut, split the little heart, and put it together, and glued it on a card. I, I said, happy baking. You could send this to a friend, to a cousin, to your grandma, somebody fun. If you want, you can also go to the, like I said, the, our website, a visit from home, and there is this that gives you a pattern of a heart to cut out that you can color. I would use the small heart, don't use the big one, that would be too big for a card. Or if you have colored paper at home, you don't. You can use that as well instead of white and color. Again, I cut out two hearts, two hearts, and then what I did is I cut a, a slit from the middle down, from the middle down on one, and I cut a slit in the middle after they had been folded from the top down. Then you take these two hearts and you put them together with the slits and you have made a strawberry. Look at it like this. Can you see this? You have made a strawberry just using two red hearts. It's like a giant strawberry. And you can see I made a small one and put it on the card here. That man, I use this without using colored paper, but if you don't have instruction paper, you can just color some paper solid and cut out two little hearts like I did. I hope you had a good time. I hope to see you next week. Please take care. Bye.